Hello friends, this video on fractions and decimals part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at representation of different fractions. So what are we going to do now is we will look at pictures and looking at the pictures we will tell what fraction is it trying to represent. Now here what do you see? You see a, a circle divided into how many equal parts? Divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 equal halves. And you see some part of the circle is shaded. So what we, are, we want to do here is how much is this shaded part of the total part? What fraction of this diagram is shaded? So the shaded part is shaded in black or gray, whatever you call it. So how much part is shaded? Out of the eight equal halves, how many halves are shaded? One half, right? So only this half is shaded. So one part out of eight parts is shaded. So we can say that one eighth of the circle is shaded. So one eighth of the circle is shaded. Let us look at this triangle. So this triangle has been divided into how many equal halves? One, two, three. So total there are three halves and how many parts out of three are shaded? One. So one third of this triangle is shaded. Let's look at yet another figure. So here this is a rectangle. So here it has been divided into four equal parts and one part out of the four parts is shaded. So one fourth of the rectangle is shaded. So in, you know this is how uh, looking at pictures you should be able to identify what fraction of that picture is shaded or not shaded. Now let's look at similar figures in a little different way. So in this case you will see that the, the, the portion which was shaded has changed. Okay? So in the first case, you have a triangle and how many halves are shaded now? So here also you see that the triangle is divided into three equal parts and out of this three equal parts, two parts are shaded. So two third of the triangle is shaded. Look at this rectangle. So it has eight equal parts. How many shaded? One, two, three. So three out of four because it has four equal parts and out of four three are shaded so we say that three fourth of the rectangle is shaded look at this circle now here how many are shaded one two three four five five are shaded out of how many out of one two three four five six seven eight so five eighth of the circle is shaded so you see, why am I taking so many examples is to make you understand how do we determine what part is, um, how, what part of the entire thing is shaded or what part is not shaded for that matter. Now, if I ask you, uh, th this is the portion of the uh, circle which is shaded, 5 eighth of it. If I ask you, what fraction of this circle is not shaded, how would you answer that? So how many parts are not shaded? One, two, three. So these are the three parts which are not shaded. So three out of eight. So three eighth of the circle is not shaded. Now here we are going to do something more interesting. So we learned how to multiply fractions, right? So here we are representing fractions multiplication using these uh, figures. So what do you see? So let's look at the first set of figure. So what do we see? We see three triangles exactly identical to each other and each triangle is divided into three equal halves. And what part of this triangle is shaded? So two third of the triangle is shaded here. Here also two third of the triangle is shaded and here also two third of the triangle is shaded. Now you have three similar triangles where two third part is shaded. So basically this means that we are trying to add these two third of a triangle plus two third of a triangle plus two third of a triangle. So what are we actually doing? We are adding two by three. Two by three is added three times. So that basically means 2 by 3 multiplied by 3. 
So 3 means 3 by 1. So what would be the result? So numerator multiplied by numerator, so 6 divided by denominator multiplied by denominator, that is 3. And we know that 3 into 2 is 6, so this is equal to 2. So whether it is 6 by 3 or true. So the result is shown in this fashion. So here what do you see in this image? You see that all the three parts are shaded. So basically this is 3 by 3. What do you see here? Here also all the three parts are shaded. So this is 3 by 3. And here 0 part is shaded. So it is 0 by 3. So again when you add these 3, what do you get? So it is 3 by 3 plus 3 by 3 plus 0. So this is equal to 6 by 3. So this is the same thing which you got here. 6 by 3. 6 by 3. So basically this, this was... 3, what does this represent together? This represents 3 into 2 by 3. And what did this represent? This represents the result. Correct? So basically, when you look at this or when you look at this, they actually represent the uh, product. This represents the result of the product and this represents the fractions which are getting multiplied. So this is the representation of factors multiplication. So let us look at yet another example. So here what do you see? You see two circles. In the first circle, five parts out of eight parts are shaded. One, two, three, four, five. And the same is true for the next circle as well. So when you add these two, what are we, you going to get? So adding these two basically means that five by eight multiplied by two. So what would be the result? The result would be ten by eight. So how can we represent the result? That means 10 parts out of 8 parts. What does that mean? Now you might ask that when there are total 8 parts, then how can we have 10 shaded parts? This basically means that out of these 2, because you started with 2 circles, so you still have 2 circles. So in these 2 circles, total you have 10 shaded parts. So the first circle is totally shaded. And in the second circle, you just have two parts shaded. Do you want to see another interesting thing? Can you, this is right now an improper fraction. If you convert it into mixed fraction, what do you get? You divide 10 by 8. So 8 ones are 8 and the remainder is 2. So 10 by 8 can also be written as 1, 2 by 8. And don't you think that that is what is exactly represented by these two? One. That means one complete circle is shaded. So this circle is completely shaded. So that is represented by one. And two by eight. That means the other circle, in the other circle, only two part out of eight parts is shaded. So one, two by eight is exactly what is being represented by these images. So this is how we can represent factors multiplication using uh, images. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.